Okay, here's the uh, latest update on the 3D printed Jupiter robot project. As you say, we're starting with this wind-up as our scale. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to use the small N20. Have I got one line out here? Let me check. I think I do. There we go. Just so we were all on the same page. A little N20 dual shaft, 30 RPM at 3 volt. I've been using these in the pin lockers because they're small. They are a lot more expensive than the old TT type gear motors. But um, in this particular application, I was hoping to use just two uh, AAA batteries, 3 volts. But there's so much more um, moving parts, so much more drag, and on a shuffle walker with ratchet feet like these have. Uh, there's a lot of friction involved in, in moving the legs and everything so it wouldn't run on 3 volts so my first design I started off with going well if I have to put three double A's in there to get four and a half volts they're gonna have to be on the clear back part of the body because the legs go up and I didn't want to change the dimensions of the body and uh, having this on the back of course made it back heavy and it wanted to fall over so I ended up having to put a bunch of uh, pennies on the front as a counterweight to keep it from, from tipping over. But I liked the uh, the walking speed and the fact that it was stable. So then I went back and uh, designed a new base and legs with just the two uh, AAA batteries. But in this case, since the motor only draws between 30 and 40 milliamps, I went ahead and used a boost regulator. Now this one's much larger than the one I'm going to actually use in this. The one I'm going to use is on order. It's about the size of my little fingernail. Half, about half the size of this thing. This one's adjustable. This is a little bit more complicated. But uh, I adjusted it up to put 5 volts out when uh, three's coming in. The ones I have on order, which I found on uh, eBay, actually start working at 0.9 of a volt, less than 1 volt. They'll still kick up to... 5 volts out at more than 30 milliamps and if you put 3 volts in you could you could draw as much as 300 and some odd milliamps out of them but I don't need that much power I think the most I'll be drawing is the uh, the little motor which is down in here and the um, possibly a flashing lead up in the head so in this case you have the boost circuit so we could use it and it has a very nice locking gate and it's uh better balanced because the batteries could be moved inboard closer to the legs and not clear in the back. So this base piece is one piece so that the batteries, the base, the switch, the motor, the boost circuit, that's all one piece. And of course the uh, the legs that went over the parts on that kind of in the part one of the video uh, is an outer shell which is just free floating and it's pinned here and uh, it's got two anchor points here and then you've got your normal lower section just like in the wind-up you got your ratchet wheels only the front ratchets just like in the wind-up and then there's a ratchet prowl in there maybe you can hear it no I don't think that's gonna pick it up so the next thing on my agenda is to uh, design the body and then the uh, the arms and then the head I'm gonna make the head I think separate because that way you can maybe do some different versions of this, uh, maybe the Venus robot version, just by doing a head change and some changes to the uh, chest design. But um, let's see if I saved a, a link for that voltage boost. They're very cheap, they're less than a dollar. Here we go. Hang on, everybody, you're getting swear around here. And. Maybe we have to zoom in a little. Let's, uh, let's bring this up. So this is just one side of it. The other, here's basically the circuit. Uh, the facts of it are right in here though. This would be the interesting part for those of you that want to know the specs of it. Let's see if we can zoom in. You can do a freeze frame and read the specs at your leisure. There you have it. It says your input voltage is anywhere from 0.9 to 5. The output will be 5. And it goes on to tell you and the actual size of, 
of the whole thing is uh, written down here. Very, very small. And let's zoom back out. Let's go back to the uh, top of the page. Um, as you can see, this is one side of it, and here, here is the other side of it. So it's a very small little device. I've used them before in the past, and they work quite well. It's a good way of uh, getting the voltage up on this project to where it walks at the speed I want, and the motor has enough torque to do the, the job. Now incorporated into this design, I also put in right here a small pulley. And the idea is possibly you might want to run a belt up into the head to maybe make uh, the ear scanner rings rotate. I don't know if I want to or not, but as long as the pulley's there, then I have that option of doing that. And uh, obviously if this whole project comes together, then there'll be a, a build video so that you'll know the correct order to assemble parts in and uh, sidestep mistakes and what's hard and what's easy and all that good kind of stuff so I won't go into too much of that detail now because it'd be redundant in the build video